Hi, my name is Pete Brander and I'm the number one success coach in Thailand and I show guys how to unleash their full potential. So in today's video, I have a special guest. His name is Ari. Come in the frame, buddy. Okay, nice to meet you guys. Um, today I'm just joining Pete here for his podcast. Just That's to right, give man. my um, thoughts on... Uh, like thoughts on topic on a entrepreneurial mindset. Yep, that's right. So like, what are your thoughts when you think of an entrepreneur? Man, I just think that entrepreneurs are just people who follow their passion, right? And, and find, they think that they can have like an actual impact, like, like in the world. Yeah, of course. I think like people who follow their passion and, you know, I think the end product is to always make the world a better place some way, somehow. But the thing is that uh, the reason why some entrepreneurs think they're so like fucking alone in the world because they think that they're like the only ones standing up from the actual herd because society said you must do this, get a job, get a job, get a degree enough to live a happy life. But then an entrepreneur yeah. thinks that they have potential and they want to share that potential with the whole world. Right. Yeah, I think uh, as an entrepreneur, you always feel like you're the lone wolf, right? Um, exactly. Like you always kind of feel like uh, you're the only one pursuing your passion, yeah, ambition. Sure. But I think like uh, to be a great entrepreneur, you always have to have like a partner, someone you can talk to. But then it's it's like when like when when you have like two of the like the great mind that actually click, it it like it's like have that sense of good like that sense of like good good feeling because like you know that like, you're not alone in this world because people actually think like you. And you feel like you're actually doing something right because, and it's actually pretty, pretty good when you actually feel like somebody finds that you actually like can actually relate to. Yeah, I think um, as an entrepreneur, right? Um, whether you're trying to be like an artist or you're trying to figure out some sort of business to fulfill yeah. a need, and um, you always kind of feel like that it's kind of lonely or whatever and I think that once you find that initial kind of click when you meet yeah, someone who that is true yeah who have like the same mindset at you as you I think that it helps you build on what you already have right uh, but then an entrepreneur when he actually he or she starts up a business probably he truly believes that he can change the people's life or the actual better because the reason why you start a business is because you make people's lives better, right? And then mm. you you can actually allow show people that there's an actual other side of the spectrum that you don't have to actually go to work from nine to five. And there's actually like a pathway that you would want to do something that you want for yourself and have a have a time schedule that it worked only for you. Do you right. actually agree with that? Yeah, I think um you know people do the nine to five because it's comfortable, you know, they don't have to kind of plan for anything yeah, just, like, they just go in. Zone, right? they just go in in the morning then get out in the evening and it's kind of easy and it's it's not a wrong way of living I just think it's kind of a it really depends on what you want if you just want a normal life you know then probably the nine to five is gonna fit for you but if you want to do something that's um, that isn't uh, the ordinary kind of job yeah. right the some things that require more kind of effort. Yeah, sure. You, you know, people say nine to five is easier than an entrepreneur. I think that's that's wrong because I think Why that, say that because to be an entrepreneur, right? Um, it's just not the initial. People always look at the success, right? When yeah. you see a successful entrepreneur, but yeah, right. there's a lot of backstories, right? Um, even the basic things with like just disco discovering your own passion. That's correct. That's like you know. Some people take years and years. Well, uh, well, there's like a bunch of people underestimate what they underestimate what they can do in a year, but overestimate what they can do in five years. Right? It's like once you see the actual, like the bigger picture, just do it anyways. Mm, yeah, yeah. I think um, uh, people like to think that you know, uh, people like to think like uh, you just keep on trying to find your passion. And uh, sometimes you already found your passion, but you give up kind of too soon, right? I think because like one of the, one of the main reasons why people give up because they they are fear of self judge. When when you have that one thing and you want to share it, the world people are scared that 
people would actually make fun of you. But then the thing is that if you realize if your idea or your potential actually help people in the long run, I say just do it anyway, right? Because in the long term, if you really, really want to do it, after your nine to five job, what one thing would you think of is that thing that you wanted to start like years ago. Right. So I'm like, why not you just put forward, put all your effort and just try to put out some, something out there and build, build on that. Yeah, I think um, people just like to like doubt themselves, you know, they, like, okay, they so try for a period of time and maybe they like uh, hit like a roadblock yeah. and they just kind of give up. And uh, I think you just have to just kind of tackle through those obstacles, right? Yep. Because like for example, for me, like... Uh, when you started... Your yeah, when I started like discovering like my passion for music, yeah. I, 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 I didn't thought that, you know, I was going to make it big or I was going to be successful. There was many periods of time, like I quit like, yeah. for years. Because people do it just because they actually love it. Yeah, and yeah. then once you love something, you can't unlove it, right? You have to always come back to yeah, your... Yeah. yeah, so uh, adding to what I was saying just now, so like, you know, there will be periods of time, right, where I would just not even touch my guitar because I just feel like I don't have any inspiration to play. I feel like... You know, I I doubt myself, right? That is called a roadblock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, I think that it just hits, it, it just comes a uh, point in time where you just got to tell yourself that, you know, you're going to find these roadblocks, right? Yeah. And um, you're going to feel like you want to give up, but you just got to stick through it, right? Yeah, but then it's the same thing when I started weightlifting. It's like I go to the gym every single day by myself and then like for years and then after it, Right now, currently, I feel demotivated. I don't really want like, what am I doing this? I know I'm doing it for myself, but I don't have like a, a like an actual end goal. It's so it's very important to set like a deadline when you do something because once you achieve that kind of goal, what is what is next on your actual target, right? So it's very important to have a deadline when you do something. Yeah, yeah, I think definitely like um, because like people like to kind of just do something just like in the midst of the moment right they don't really have like an end goal of what yeah. they actually want even with um like i'll give you an example like john mayer yeah. right uh, i watched some of his interview and he said yeah. like um some people just make music when they feel like it yeah. but he just likes to kind of fight through the moment and uh just kind of like a battle out and just come up with an idea right yeah. it doesn't have to be a good idea but at least he you know, has an outcome. He puts it out there and, and take the action, yeah. and, and then hoping that what he loves, what what effort he has put inside his idea, and he assumed that other people would like the shit that he put out as well. Yeah, like uh, I don't think um, um, achievement means like to you know set a deadline and like get great results. Yeah, I think it just means to be able to commit to what. Exactly, and, saying, right? and and putting hours of work into it, and people like to choose sleep over success because it, because they don't want to be successful. But maybe they don't want it bad enough. Because if you really like it, you just keep on focus. Some people they even get to eat. Like uh, and then since you uh, mentioned John Mayer, how important to you is on finding mentors? Man, I think mentors like uh, very like essential. Like for me, like I still take like guitar lessons, yeah. right? And and one great thing about that is that, you know, he always points out like the mistakes that I do, yeah. and I think that helps you to learn much more faster. That is called a a a blind bias. When people do something, people need feedback from other people to point out what are they doing bad. Because you, for example, if you play the actual guitar for for every single day, like like the same way for like weeks, you think you're good, but then when a mentor comes along and sees you play first time, he, he can cut your learning curve just right then. Just fix this, fix this, fix this, you could be much better. Yeah, I think like a good analogy would be like, um, when you're singing in the shower or whatever, you, you, yeah. you think you sound so great, but when you actually record yourself yeah, and like, listen Oh to shit, what the fuck is this shit, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I thought I was going to go to the voice. Maybe I probably <laughs> have to record myself, and I probably will be at the voice. But people sing in the shower that they want to sing, but some people can actually sing in the shower, but they're too shy to sing. It's like it's weird that concept of self judging. People would judge you no matter what you do. Yeah, yeah. I think um, 
I think people like to judge themselves before they like to like well, put themselves that, down before before they actually go out there and do something. You know, they always trying to say like, oh, maybe I'm not that great. Maybe you know, people won't like it. But you know, you won't know it unless you actually do it and but see the then, reaction. But then, in like it, if 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 you flip it in in life, there would be some people who would hate you in what you do, and people who would support you. And if people who like you like what you do and you have that fan base, I'd say, why not just put it out there and try, try to just like build on that core potential because that potential can actually bring you to bigger opportunities in the actual future, right? Because if you put your, for example, your your music out there and you document the whole thing, for example, you sing one video, one video per week. And then that just like builds up. You have like a fucking reputation. Like he would come and see you. Uh, this kid actually he sings, but he sings every day because he loves to sing, not because he sings because he wants to be successful. Right? Because like over overnight success doesn't happen because of a like, one clip. And next day he he fucking started at MSG. Let's say for example when Ed Sheeran started, he started from nothing. He started from the streets. People see posts on Nine Gags where Ed Sheeran is standing like on the street playing with with his guitar mm -hmm. and people saw the, the after effect he sold out MSG like twice already but people don't know the backstory how did he start it I was actually watching an, an actual video he said that Ed Sheeran actually moved out of the, of the UK and ended up sleeping in Ash, on Usher's couch at the state that, that's how he got started but what if he decided to stay in his comfort zone and did not take the risk to move out and say, "Fuck you!" to the, like to the whole family. I'm gonna pursue music. I'm gonna do this and look look where he ended up now. So it's actually really true when you think about high risk equals high reward. Mm -hmm. If you truly believe in yourself, that you see the picture of you playing in front of uh, millions of crowds, I would say why not give it a shot? And if it doesn't work out just find something new because you know that you have that entre entrepreneurial mindset ingrained in your deep conscious way it's like once you have it you can't really change who you are you have to agree with that statement <coughs> yeah yeah i agree because i think that um i think deep down people want to pursue what makes them happy well right? it's like it's like saying everybody has a dream right right it's right. like what well, well didn't it all started with with a fucking mouse, if you think about it. a mouse, and he got rejected by constant of people, but he stick to his fucking mouse. Just think about it, just one damn mouse, and then now he has Disney World, this like Disneyland. It all, st I don't know. This is like very deep to me because like self belief is everything. If you if you really believe you can do it, you hear it all the time, and it's fucking cliche, right? If you believe you can do it, if you can see you can do it, it's like that concept alone. If you really visualize, if you can see it happening, it can happen if you put in the work. It, it's deep in a way, but it's so true. And and we have like actually like success stories actually proven that this concept actually works. Yeah, I, I think that um, a lot of people like to say that you know they have this dream, this passion, whatever. And I think what just separates the majority of people from the good from the grace is work do you agree yeah just actually doing it right you just by actually doing something you're already like a step ahead of the rest of the people because uh people i don't know it maybe it's the i don't really want to touch upon it but it's actually pretty true because if you think about it when we when we were back in primary school right it was like you wake up at six. You must go to class at eight. It's like the bell thing. It's like factory, factory time. Ten, twelve, in that for at least what ten, twelve years until you hit like year ten, year year eleven. Mm -hmm. Then you have to go to university. Then you get the same shit. Then you have to do an actual job, which is the same shit. Which I don't get. Well, uh, which I, I always ask myself, why are why aren't other people thinking like me or Am I be doing the wrong thinking? Because they're doing the same thing every day. I like don't they get bored, or they have something that they want to do but they don't want to pursue it because they are scared. Like you said, there's now self judgment. 
Um, yeah, I think that's a good question because I think some people just I don't maybe they're just like comfortable with their life, can't judge them. Yeah, maybe they're comfortable and like um, they don't want to invest their time because they're scared that mm. they're gonna you know they're gonna lose or something, right? And uh, one thing is, that's very important in pursuing whatever passion or whatever you want to call it is you, you just got to commit to it and, in, and actually invest in it. Mm. Um, whether that's time or money. Uh, just, just, just talk about what did you do today for your actual vision. Okay, so like, you know, as you know, like I'm... Um, I've always wanted to create music, right? I've, yeah. But I've always, I've always said that I want to create music, but you know, I haven't actually created music. So, yeah. you know, today I went out and like I bought a studio monitor, audio yeah. interface, right? And um, that for me is called investment, right? Because self investment. If I actually invest in something, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna make me actually want to do it, right? Because I already put my money out there, right? If and if I if I don't do it, then I'm always I'm only making, you know. Myself at this. Yeah, know. that's true. But then, if like like you actually mentioned that you actually went out and bought the equipment, that brings me to the next topic that I want to touch upon. Is that your actual environment plays a, a huge factor as well? Because like if you are surrounded by your instruments, your like your your actual like your studio monitor, right? You can actually feel and you and you want to motivate yourself more because you actually feel the sense that, that you want to make music every single day because you wake up and see your stuff waiting for you, right? And that is very, very true because it's like for me, if I wake up and I, let's say, I want to go to, to the gym and the gym is like half an hour away, I, I, I wouldn't feel the need to go to the gym because it's, it's too far. Just call me lady, but then it's just too much effort just to go back and forth half an hour. But if the, if the actual gym was actually like, Five minutes away, I'll just walk there and get my one hour workout and then just walk back and that's like yeah. nothing. Yeah, I think one important important thing to think about is you've gotta like set yourself up for success, right? Exactly. And uh you know, yeah, yeah, you yeah, you can be like productive in like any environment, right? Yeah. But I think if you put yourself in a quality environment yeah. that's just gonna accelerate whatever you're trying to achieve. Well it well but it's like one quote that he say that if you want to be successful, show me your five best friends and who you hang out with. That is very crucial if if you think about it. the people who you surround, like surround, like like surround yourself with, is very important. And that comes back to the actual environment. For example, like I have my own record company. Right? People didn't believe that. I can actually do it, but I actually pulled out a deal where which nobody has talked about because I actually pulled out the colors mouth for smiles at Lumpini Park, and I was the only one who actually approached because I actually believed that I could actually play at that actual event. So I found the person who, who to talk to, and I got on the phone with her, and then I got to play. So if you can see it, you can do it. It's simple as that. But then, but then flip side. It all comes down to hard work. It's it's work. That's it. Nothing. Yeah, I think um, you can try to put yourself in the best situation. You know, invest all you want, but if there is no effort in it, then that's just yeah. gonna go to waste. And then it, it comes back to work. So work environment mentors. That's probably one of the main things that make people great but then what what if like like if you person watching they like I don't have that money or that investment to invest in myself let's say books or I can't find mentors I think I, I call that bullshit because they're not trying hard enough there's like much much more free content on the internet there's YouTube or webinars of people talking about the niche that that you want to be and YouTube is actually a great platform that allows people to go explore the things they want to do. Let's say, for example, John Mayer was playing at a concert and then somebody filmed it. You can actually see it. And that would give you an exposure of John Mayer, but it won't be as great as seeing him in live person because nothing beats that. Mm -hmm. but, it, but 
it gives you like a sense of glimpse that John Mayer is there with you while while you're watching the screen. So the resources is out there. YouTube, the internet is big is there for a reason. So people must put in work to find what they want to do. As for me, I don't know, I think I like to help people, help to find out that their potential and they can actually do something if they really want to. If people do, who come to me and say, I want to change, show me that you want to change. Just don't don't just say it because people can say all, all they can talk all they want but without no action there will be no results. It's just a I don't know, it's just a fact that you can't really avoid because it's true in a way. And it's pretty deep if we like know these kind of stuff because it's uh I'm not gonna bash on public public education, right? But then to to be honest, from my perspective, they're not teaching us how to live the life we want. They teach us how to be actual workers and work for other people and achieving their dream, not ours. Let's say for example, who there there's an actual quote from Bill Gates, do you actually like like remember I failed school but the person who graduated engineer is now working below me. That is like people read quotes and they see quotes all the time, but they don't realize that the reason why people say these quotes is because they actually really mean it. And that's why they, that's why they fucking said it because there is some truth behind these quotes. Then they can't say words that don't mean anything, right? Let's say for example, there was one quote for fucking Einstein. He said, "You can't judge a fish f uh, from the ability to climb a tree." That is very true, and in a way too and if you think about uh, all the idolized all the celebrities that we look up to what is what are they good at LeBron James for like in basketball Beyonce singing Kanye West singing John Mayer singing if you let John Mayer come sit in a math class with us I think all day he will hopefully mind wonder and mind fuck it though how can I get out of this class so we can produce more music right it's just it's just the fact that you know that you, you want to do something. The matter of fact is that you don't want to do it because you are scared that other people would judge you. And so now it's like fucking processing because it... No, because the reason why I say all this is because I, I say like the things I see. If everything was normal and everything was happy and people were actually... Well, some people are happy in the workplace, I, I'm sorry, but I won't judge them. But then from the stories that I heard from like Sean's internship that I was talking to him earlier, like this past week, he said he didn't have a good time. But then if other people are, are having fun at the workplace, uh, kudos to them. But I just want to, I want, just want to reach out to, to people who are not happy in the workplace that tell them that there is color on the other side. Life is not black and white. But I think, um, you know, at the end of the day, there's always going to be people who just enjoy that work life. Right? That's true. Because if nobody wants to do it, then how the world works. Yeah, I just, that's true. That's just how the world works, right? There's just always going, going to be those people who, who want the comfort of a 9 to 5, uh, you, know, you know, salary every month. And there's just going to be those other people who just want to go pursue something else. Yeah. Well, that's why that makes us entrepreneur very different and very, very unique, and that makes us stand out of the crowd. That's why there's not as many entrepreneurs as there is today. And I want to like inspire that if you have an idea deep down inside your mind, just do it anyway. People will gonna judge you. Whatever it is, take bucket. This is what I want to do. Just do it. Do you like is it like the punchline? Do it Just like <laughs> Nike. It, it's like every time I read it and every time I, I look at my fucking bag right now, their slogan is "Just do it." People read it every single time, but it just goes by like boom, 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 boom. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it tomorrow, Paul. That's, the, that's what they all say, right? I'll do it tomorrow because why? Because they want to watch TV shows. They want to like binge watch. That's why I don't know people. 
the reason why people aren't successful because they don't want to I don't know maybe they're they're scared because they they're scared that they will get judged by other people that I I told you so you won't be successful rejected or maybe people don't be don't want to be successful because they're scared that their parents they must get that actual actual degree first that's it for my case you have to get a, a degree first Pete before you can actually do something you want but then like the sense of me going to actual class is like just to listen to teachers teaching me nonsense that I won't use in the future it, it's nothing wrong with the teacher right because I I myself have self invest in myself by using other resources besides what the teacher is teaching me and then they're like but why aren't you good in class Pete because these these topics uh, they don't interest me as the topic I want to do by myself because I know what I want to learn but then university doesn't give me a choice to actually pursue what I want to pursue because then but then it's true but then if like you said, some people are comfortable with their work life until that's why they're a worker and that's why they're an entrepreneur. And I just feel like the sense that when I see potential in, in a person, right, I really want to like help them that hey, like, do it. You might you might meet people on the way on your journey to become successful as well because nothing comes easy if you really want to be successful. Let's say you have a goal that that you actually see yourself like performing on stage and then along the way you meet mentors, mentors teaching you shit, he's teaching you shit. It's like when you see all these success stories, it's like a kind of pattern, right? Do you do this? Do you, I, I dropped out. I went to this. I met this guy. This guy changed my life. I got my first thing. Like going back to Ed Sheeran, he didn't get famous because he slept in Usher uh, fucking couch he got famous because of that one song Lego house right did you know that song and then that fucking album orange that came out that made him popular but then if you think about all the effort that he put in years after that for one fucking album and made him the guy he is today and don't even let me talk about Will Smith that guy is that guy he didn't even have an acting job when he did the bell print he just memorized everything because he worked and then there was actually one funny interview that the interviewer said that Will Smith during the first three episodes he actually read the lines of the other people's actor because he memorized everything and it was actually funny like, Will Smith stop fucking talking you don't say other people's lines it'd be obvious that you're acting <laughs> like no shit you're acting like, oh, like come on but then Coming back to all this, I think it's it's like very true. This just can't come to me. It's like the harder you work, the the luckier you get. The luckier that that you get. Because if you don't do anything to like pursue your actual goal, you just will be stuck there at the same place every single day, right? It's just like mm, if what if I didn't buy my first book. I would just be stuck there. What if I, what if, what if, blah, 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 blah. It's like, what's it called? It's called a fucking like snowball effect. It's like one tumble after another, another, another. And then, and then like, like, eventually, you'll be happy. But then it all comes down to what you value, which I mentioned in my previous video. Is it your time spent, your energy, or your money? It all comes down to that. Which is true, in a way, but then, there's some people that, that don't understand that because they maybe because they actually grew up in a society where they see their role model as parents because I grew up seeing my parents as two entrepreneurs like my dad runs a Harley company my mom runs a, a actual yoga studio so maybe the environment does play a big factor because you see it every day and then you realize that if I was to live life, I want to live life just like them, actually pretty, pretty deep and the idea of me waking up at night, for fuck's sake, I can't even wake up for 12, 12 
class, 12.30 class, and I still show up late. It's like, and you expect me to wake up at 9 to do something else that I don't want to do, and being forced by other people to do the shit I don't want to do, it's like, come on. The, yeah, that was quite a tangent, I know, but it all comes down to work, and work will get you there. So, fucking fill up the work, and don't do it tomorrow, and do it right now, if you really want change. And people are afraid to change. I don't know why. Some people, they don't like to change. They just like to, uh, I don't know, they just like to stick to their own self. Do the same shit every day. Be comfortable. Go back, come to sleep, right? I don't know. It, it, it's like mindset. It's just like, it just stuck to it. Like, like in me, if people want to really change, they would, they would start already. But I just want to encourage to all you entrepreneurs out there that you're not alone and if you have a goal, pursue it, do it. Any last words? I just think that you just go for it and don't doubt yourself before you actually do it, right? Yeah. And let the reaction of people guide you in uh, how you should, you know, pursue your passion. That's right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Thanks for your time, man. Right. So good. Nice, bro. How long was that, though? Fuck me. I don't know, like an hour or something. Was it? Uh, Think what? <laughs> oh, fair enough.